people always said Carlos looked just like his mother. Beautiful. Just like his mama Rosa. Oh, thank you. Have a good day at school. Meeting. Carlos with the class with a frown on his face. I don't like them talking about me like I look like my mom. I wish people looked so that I look like my daddy. He wonder why people never said he looked like his father. That morning, Mr. Nunn, his teacher, brought out a large bag. Girls, today we're going to make a new movie this year. Are you excited? Yeah! The Return of Bony Fingers. The students couldn't wait. Woo! Okay. Who wants to be the officer? Hey, Fernando. Fernando wanted to play the part of the police officer. Who wants to be the mad scientist? <laughs> All right. Ariana is and excited. And who wants to be Hawk Girl? <laughs> All right. Lizzie couldn't wait to put on those wings. And who wants to be the cheerleader? No doubt about yes. it, Joy raised her hand. And who wants to be the reporter? <laughs> Without thinking twice, he threw the headset to Brianna. Carlos had a bad attitude until Mr. Nunn's eyes went around the room and he settled his eyes on Carlos. The bushy mustache. No one wanted that part. Carlos raised his hand with excitement. For the rest of the day, the children practice their parts. And man, did those kids practice. All the while, Carlos played with his mustache. It tickled his lip. It made him feel tough. Mr. Nunn was so proud of his actors, but it was time to clean up. Oh man, guys, listen, I need you guys to clean up this room, okay? Pass Mr. Nunn told okay? his class to pass the costumes forward. Everybody put up your costumes. Let's get ready to go home. Okay. Carlos has something else on his mind. Carlos took off his mustache. But instead of leaving it behind, he put it in his pocket. He wanted to take it home. He wanted to surprise his father when he got home from work. As Carlos was walking home, he thought maybe mommy would take a picture of us standing around with our new cowboy boots. So he had a great idea. He ran into the bathroom. He put on his brand new boots and his hat. He was gonna be a grown man now. And now the hat. Finish it off with the bushy mush. Now, feeling like a grown man, Carlo walks out the restroom. Let's see what the world has for him now. Wow, did you see those fifth graders? They were afraid to even speak. Even the school custodian had to stop and stare. Well, 
Suddenly, Carlos passed the kindergartner. Mr. You can come Carlos realized being a grown-up isn't Hello, so bad. Carlos laughed and sang all the way out the school building. But his bushy mustache kept falling off his face. Carlos couldn't wait to show his friend his bushy Trinity! mustache. Go away, I don't talk to strange men. Trinity is exactly me! He tried to let her know it's just him, but his mustache kept falling off his face. It's exactly really me! Surprise, she asked him. I'm in a movie with Mr. Number. I keep my mustache keeps falling off. You better put it in the light space before you lose it. I ain't gonna lose it. I'm a grown-up man. But like all grown men, Carlos just didn't listen. Those two played and played and played. And the mustache kept falling off his face. Mommy, I'm hungry. Go wash your hands, honey. He waited for his mom to say something about his bushy mustache. She only smiled. No? You don't notice my bigote? What bigote? He touched his lips and his face, but the mustache was gone. It was not on his face. It was not on his cheeks. Oh, man. He left the house without saying another word. He retraced his steps. Eyes wide open. Where is it? I have to find it. He looked by the big tree. What's the fall under this thing? He dug through a pile of malt right underneath the slide. Where put it at? I swear to God I had it on my lips a second ago. <sighs> Carlos even looked between the buildings. Carlos jumped with excitement when he saw a black thing blowing in the wind. But the only thing on Carlos's mind was that mustache. When Carlos got home, he told his mom what had happened. It's gonna be okay. You look just like your dad, don't you? At dinner, he wanted to tell his poppy but the words would not come out. They were stuck in his throat. He watched his father's big, bushy mustache move up and down when he chewed. Under his breath, Carlos whispered, Master. His father didn't hear him. He kept talking about his work. 
After dinner, Carlos went straight to his room. He gets some black paper, his favorite green scissors, and he started to cut up all types of mustaches. I really want my bushy mustache again. Mm, maybe this one will work. No. Mm, mm, mm. stared at the mirror. Oh no! These wow. mustaches wow. just won't work. <laughs> They're too flat, not thick, and not bushy. Carlos went into the living room to have a little talk with his dad. Happy, I lost my bushy mustache, my bigote. What bigote? Carlos climbed on the couch and told his father everything. She told me to put it in a, a good place before it lost, and then I walked back home and then I lost it. It's going to be okay. You know, when his I father young, smiled and told him a story about when he was a kid. Tape. We went through some drama. Because I didn't have a Bacote. It was a good story, but it didn't solve his problem. Uh, you know, I'm a just But he didn't care. He just loved the way his One daddy told the story. You know, I'm a just ignore it. The next morning, Carlos's mom and dad greeted him with a smile. His mom had a surprise, and he couldn't wait to guess it what it cars? was. No. Uh-uh. Is it a Watch Dogs 2 video game? She held out a close fist, and it opened it slowly like a flower. It was big and bushy, and Carlos was so excited. Finally, Carlos got to say those famous words. I look just like you, Daddy. That's right, son. When Carlos ate his breakfast, his mustache moved up and down just like his father. Yeah.